Hi there, in the last lesson we looked at how to solve basic inequations or inequalities. In this lesson we're going to look at slightly harder ones, so ones with fractions and brackets and things we learn in the equations section will apply to the inequality section or in the equation section. So I'm going to go through these six examples going from easier to harder. Let's look at the first one. So we've got half x plus 3 is greater than 6. Now when we were dealing with this kind of idea in equations, the best thing to do is get rid of the fractions. And the way to do that is to multiply by the denominator to cancel the fractions out. But what you must do is if you do that to one thing, you do it to everything there, every term in the inequality or equation. So I'm going to times by 2 here to get rid of the fraction. Uh, I need to do it to here and I need to do it to here. So a half x times 2 is just 1x. 3 times 2 is just 6. And I better keep my greater than sign, and 6 times 2 is 12. So there, I've got rid of the fractions. It's quite a nice, easy finish. If you just take away 6 from both sides, you've got x is greater than 6. Okay, so remember, the inequality sign stays the same all the way down, unless you have to switch sides, which we'll talk about later. Okay, again, when you saw brackets in equations, what you did was you multiplied them out. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm going to multiply the bracket out. So remember, it's 2 times x and then 2 times 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 2x add 4 is less than 8. And you can already see here, I'm going to take away the 4 from both sides to leave me with x's. So I've got 2x is less than 4 and then half it to finish, divide by 2 on both sides, x is less than 2. So these techniques are just exactly the same as the equation techniques, and um, we're just applying it to inequalities. Let's look at two more in this slide. So um, again, we've got to multiply the brackets out. Okay, so I'm going to do 2 times 3x, and then 2 times negative 1 if you like. Okay, so we've got 6x here, and then take away and then two ones are two. And it's greater than or equal to 34. Now because we've got a takeaway two here, I'm going to add it to both sides. That's going to give me 6x is greater than or equal to 36. Divide by 6, both sides to finish, you get x is greater than or equal to 6. Okay, another fraction here. However, I've got a fraction in front of a bracket, so I've got a multiplier. Now when you have that idea, what you have to do here is the same as up here. You have to get rid of the fractions by multiplying by the denominator, but you only do it to the multiplier of the bracket. For example, I'm only going to times this by 4. I'll do it to the other side here, but what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to multiply each individual bit inside the bracket by 4 as well. Because if I do that, that would be times in by 4, and then 4 again, and then 4 again which would be times in by 64 this side. So we only need to do it to the multiplier of the bracket. Okay, so that's going to give us a 1 there, which is essentially just leaving the bracket as it is. And on the other side, 4 times 6 is 24. And then it makes things much easier. So you can take away the 3 from both sides. Uh, you'll get 3x is less than or equal to 21. And then divide by 3 to finish off. x is less than or equal to 7. So remember, if you've got a multiplier in front of the bracket and you're trying to get rid of a fraction, just times the fraction in front by the denominator, not inside the bracket as well. Okay, two to go. Um, we're going to look at these two and then that will finish the lesson off. So, again, you've seen these kind of things in the, if you've watched the equations lessons with brackets and x's on both sides, you apply exactly the same techniques. So the first thing, let's multiply the bracket out. So 3 times 3x. It's 9x, and then add on 3 times 1, which is 3. It's greater than or equal to 2x, add 24. You can see here I'm going to focus on the 2x. There are other, other ways to do it, but this is I'm going to get rid of that 2x there, and I'm going to take it off the 9x. You could take away the 3 first, absolutely, um, but this is the way I usually do it. That's going to leave us with 7x, add 3. Uh, it's greater than or equal to 24. And if we take away 3 from both sides, then you're left with 7x is greater than or equal to 21, and then divide by 7 both sides, and you get x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, last one. A bit tricky, this one. Now, the reason it's tricky is because I'm going to have lots of x's on this side, and a small number of x's on this side, and I'll show you how to sort that out. But 
First thing I'm going to do is times the bracket. Nothing's happening to this side. Um, I'll keep my less than sign and I'll multiply this out. So I'm going to get 6x minus 12. Now for me, because there's lots of x's here and less here, these are the kind of wrong way around for my liking. Okay, so if you think back to this idea here from the last lesson, when you switch sides round about, you've got to switch the inequality sign. Okay, so um, again, if you want to go into more detail with that, watch the last lesson. But 6x minus 12, we're just switching things around. Switch the inequality sign and x plus 3. Okay, I can then go about the technique I did in the top. So I'm going to take away the x from both sides. That leaves me with 5x take away 12 is greater than 3. Add the 12 to both sides. 5x is greater than 15. And divide by 5 to finish. x is greater than 3. So, a lot of different techniques there. If you're not sure of some of them, maybe watch the equations lesson. They go into those in more detail. Uh, the new techniques here are keeping an inequality sign the same unless you switch sides round about and then in that case you're going to have to switch the inequality sign.